Hello, this is Johnny. I'm going to show you how to configure the joystick. I got this one that plug in. This is the one that came with the system. So to do that, you just press the star button and you get to this setting. Okay. And before I do that, I just change something. I want to try something out. I want to see if I have. Okay, so I want to press the select and then I'm going to go to the sound setting and instead of choosing master, I'm going to choose speaker and turn the system sound up. And then go back, okay. Then I'm going to configure the joystick. All right, say yes. And it recognizes there's three gamepad is 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 put is plug in. So I'm gonna press the A button, hold it. Oop, hold it. Okay. So I'm gonna do D pad up. Uh, down. Left. Right. Star. Select. Uh, a is over here in the middle. A, B, X, Y, uh, left shoulder, right shoulder. And then rest of them, you just you just hold the button and hold, click again to skip it pretty much. Because uh, you don't have any more joystick to, to configure. Ah, shoot. Uh, let me see if I can press select. Nope, I didn't configure the hotkey. Okay, that's fine. This is just for demo. Uh, press A. Okay, uh, you did not choose a hotkey. Please answer yes to select or no. To set the hockey enable button, you did not choose any hockey button. This require for access out the game. What controller do you want to use? The select button default. Please answer yes and use the select or no not to set. No, I want a yes. So I do want to use my select button to be. Uh, Okay. Alright, then you just press the start button again. So now we have three controller. Uh I'm on I wanna make sure this controller is not messed up because a while ago I was doing something and I canceled it out. So let me press select again. So we do one more time so you guys can see it. Uh let me zoom back out. Okay, I'm gonna reconfigure this. Uh go to config input, press uh A and A, yes. And then I'm gonna hold the button. Okay, it's gonna go up, down, left, right, uh, star, select, and then uh, I believe A is in the A. A is in the opposite direction than this one, than the joystick. So A in here, B is in the middle, and the X is is in the top. Y. And then left shoulder, right shoulder, and then the rest to just uh, hold the button. <clears throat> left thumb, right thumb, uh, left analog up, down. So you can't define it because it's already been used. Left, right. And then the right analog, which we don't have, up, down, left, right, 
and then hotkey would be select and then okay all right so all the controller is configured as you can see I could move up and down with this as well and also I can move up and down with this uh, this d-pad here okay so the game does uh, support the the three joystick uh, as well as this one so all three joystick is working so let's try some game that uh, we could play uh, two player let's try the Dino assuming this let's see where is Dino did I pass it yet I don't know if Dino is in Capcom 1 or 2 I think I'm going the opposite direction Press B, maybe it's in Capcom 1. There you go, Dino. Alright, <clears throat> so I know those have at least four players. So I'm gonna press the star A button. I'm gonna select the coin, select. I'm gonna select here too. I'm gonna press the select button here as well. So you know we have three players that wanna play. So I'm gonna press uh, A. Go oh, start. So A is the girl. And then the I'm gonna press the star. Okay, and I'm going to come in as the guy and let's see if I press the start button too and I'm coming as the, the third person here you go alright so now we have three people that actually are, are playing <laughs> so yes this game will support will support the uh, yeah so right now I'm using this one this big guy right here so it will support uh, 3 player it just I cannot play 3 player at the same time okay uh, this is the big the big The, the lady is this one okay so as you can see it could play uh, three player okay so all three controller Xbox and this one will work okay all right so let me get out of the game now just just briefly tell you yes this game will support a Bluetooth as long as you plug in the back of the the joystick back here you can use Bluetooth you could use the uh, the controller that come with it and it will play or you could buy one of this well, I recommend buy one of this so you could play like a uh, Open Pro and uh, Nintendo DS 
and probably do a better job playing Nintendo 64 as well. Okay, so I would recommend doing that. So let's try some of those games that uh, require more joystick. Uh, let's get out this one and let's go to those games. And Nintendo DS, you probably want to use the the Xbox controller because it had more button. Now before we do all that, I want to answer some of the question and bring out something that you need to know. If the system is totally dead, uh, went out of that's like totally dead, and you want to continue playing and you plug the power directly back here to it, okay? Uh, if it's totally dead, you need to let it charge, okay? You need to let it charge for at least 10 minutes before you plug it in. Otherwise, it, the system will try to reboot and doesn't have enough power to the Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Pi requires 2.5 to uh, 3 especially if you are overclocking it and there's one more thing I don't recommend overclocking this system because it doesn't have a fan you can you could add a fan and I'm thinking about doing that but that's probably will be the later on when I uh, when I do different uh, update to the hardware because right now this thing come in and everything is working and based on if you put a heat sink in there it's okay but if you were to put a fan in, then you have to put some hole here and have the uh, heat sink have the fan blow the air out okay so that way it will keep the system cool the heat blow the hot hot air out uh, all right so and then this system another question is can you play this on a big TV no, not at this moment because unless now the hardware is capable to play on the big TV, but the problem is Adafruit, the video card that you purchased for thirteen dollar, is doing the video display for this screen. So it's the the Raspberry Pi is over here and the the Adafruit uh, called Clip Clipper is sandwiched together with Raspberry Pi. And the ribbon between it is causing it for you to able to plug in the HDMI connection. Plus, the configuration is set up to boot up to use this revolution, the smaller revolution. So you will have to modify the SD card, which is not too bad. You just have to go to the back. You don't have to go into the system. You just go to the back and pop it, pop the SD card. So let me show you what I mean. Okay. So when you open this system up, okay. Now there, if you notice that there's a light, in, in, there's a light here. It's indicating how much power it has. And right now it's showing. Uh, I have. If all three of them, I think light up. I think that's why it showed that you have full battery. So it does have an indicate light, but since I'm not using the smoke. Uh, black uh, clear smoke. I can't see it. I'm using the white and black. See how this was this Adafruit uh, video card is wrapped around that HDMI card, so you can access it because it's wrapped around it because uh, it's it's creating a problem for you to access that. So you will have to buy a ribbon that plug into the G GPIO. General purpose input output connection, which is right here. This is sandwiched together. So if you could get a cable that will go into here and then plug into this car so that they are not sandwiched together, then you could use your HDMI, HDMI uh, connection. So those of you who wanted to play on TV and also play to you know carry with you stand, uh, solo, then you you want to play both then you will have to do that <clears throat> but but based on this setup it's not because the the RGR not capable of doing it is this car is creating the the issue where you cannot access the Raspberry Pi because it's sandwiched together and so the ribbon is blocking your 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 your, your cable so you cannot able to uh, access it so for example let me unplug everything and show you what I'm, what I'm talking about and this is pretty cool this is help you that you don't have to go to back of Raspberry Pi inside and put this in so you just pull that out and that's for the that thing and then this is for uh, the, the controller 
for your joystick so you could unplug that so this controller could actually work on any Raspberry Pi okay now this video car is made see see where the car is see it's covering it up now unless you somehow plug it in and put it in this way then you could put that HDMI cable to the back of the the console and then you could and do a uh, what you call a hot glue then you could glue the connection to the back then you could plug into HDMI okay then it will work but at this moment uh, the way we put it in like this with that cable is here we are covering it up so yes you could make it happen you could just have to you know maybe you know have the ribbon go like this and then plug everything in and then then push it backward like this and then you could connect that to the back so yes it is possible it just at this moment the way this thing is set up he's uh, the guy who created the RGR the retro game restore he didn't created this this is created by Adafruit so when Adafruit created this they didn't think about if people want this connection or not they assume you don't need it so this is pretty much Adafruit uh, issue the way they create this it make it a little bit harder for people to have an option to go from small screen to big screen okay because they, when they make this board it's really made for you to a uh, handheld it's made for you is a uh, portable you know you take it with you as a you know solo it's not really made for you to have a choice to go from from this one and back and forward okay but yes, you we, you can make it possible, and I probably will do that. I probably will get a small connection, which I already purchased uh, for the for the Neo Geo connection, and I could plug that to the back and uh, hot glue it and and uh, make a hole back there. But I don't think not not everybody want to do that. So if you don't want to do that, you don't have to do that. So to answer your question, if you don't want to do that, can this play in the big TV? No. At this moment, the answer would be no, you cannot. Okay? And do you need uh do you need a heat sink? Yes. I recommend you put a heat sink for the memory and heat sink for the processor. You probably don't need a heat sink to put on the network, but I did it anyway. So I don't think it would cause any problem. And then this one up here, the silver one, is actually is called a Raspberry uh Bluetooth. Uh Bluetooth Thing is Bluetooth okay so yes I did put a uh, you don't need to put this one here because I don't feel no heat this is just for Wi-Fi and that's Bluetooth and this is for the processor the processor you do need to have C heat sink and does help prevent the heat and if you're going to overclock the memory which uh, I like to then you need one of uh, the heat sink back here and so what, I, what I'm gonna do is put a fan in here and I really would like to have a cable you know so it will separate between that item and this item that's part of the reason I never buy a small screen because every time I buy a small screen I always see them sandwiched together and you cannot use any of the GPI port you cannot use it for the fan you can't use it you know so there is a way uh, they did uh, Adafruit did create a possibility for you to put a fan but then you have to solder the the vault the, the red the red one plug into 5 volt and the black one plug into ground so you have to solder that and then put the, the fan uh, and then tape it to the side so you pull out, pull out the air so that is a possibility so I have to try that and test it and if it works uh, you know I will probably let you guys know so that's part of the reason I haven't screwed this together yet and I also wanted to change this cable out because it's kind of bent and it's making the screen, uh, screen go up and down and once I get everything done, I probably have hot glue there so that nothing will actually move because you don't need it to be moving because uh, the SD card is actually installed behind the retro arcade. Okay. All right, so hopefully that answer the question. Uh, somebody asked me, uh, can this play uh, the big screen at this moment without the hardware, extra hardware modification? No. 
And let me see. I think this one also support the audio out. I believe there is an audio output out there. I haven't checked. So let me check that because I have a feeling somebody's going to ask me that. Since I have everything unplugged, I'm not going to be able to test it. But I will put on the description to tell you yes or no. Will it support the audio out? Uh, there is an audio output out here. So I will test that and I'll have everything plugged in and then I'll let you know. Okay, so this is end of the video. Just to answer the question, will you play two player? Yes, it will play two, three, even four player. And if a game permit, even six player, but you will have to plug in a little a hub that allow you to plug in more uh, controller. Okay, and if, if uh, if Nintendo DS and all that game require more button, I recommend that you use this controller. So I will do a demo on this as well later on, uh, playing the uh, Nintendo DS and uh, Nintendo 64. So that uh, the controller for Nintendo 64 require you have two a D pad and an analog in the middle, you know, right, to play some of the game. So like soft. Uh, South Park. No, I, I say uh, revolution. Okay, my English is not that great. <laughs> but the screen resolution, did I say that right? Resolution. Uh, it. You have to uh, rename your config dot text. So you want to make a backup copy of the original one. No, don't delete it. Just call it o-config.txt and then download the config.txt from me and then copy into your SD card and then when you plug in, your screen will have no problem. It will show up just fine. And then if you're going to use the big screen TV, you will have to rename it back to the old, the old one, rename it to config and then the new one, call it new-config.txt and then that way you could plug into the TV. So once I figured out how to recable it and hot glue in the back, I'll give you some of my tip how I do it so you could uh, make this portable to TV and as well as uh, able to play uh, stand along and uh, uh, portable and home console, you know, on the TV. All right, hope this helped. Thank you for watching. I'll check you guys. Talk to you all later. Bye.